Stephen of Blois, who became King Stephen of England, had five potential heirs, if his claim to throne, in the line of succession was substantiated. Unfortunately, though for Stephen, who was the grandson of William the Conqueror, none of them entered the line of succession. His tenuous claim to the throne, was only claimed after a civil war in England, known as the Anarchy. His predecessor, Henry I of England, had declared that his sole surviving child, and daughter, Matilda, should claim his throne. But, after the death of Henry I, the barons of England were split, on who should inherit, with many backing Stephen's claim. The outcome of the war, saw Matilda relinquish her claim to Stephen, and in return, Stephen yielded that none of his children had a claim to the crown. Stephen's successor, was Matilda's own son, Henry, whom she had with Geoffrey Plantagenet, which started the reign, of the controversial Plantagenet house, as the monarchs of England. Therefore, Stephen's own children, became a footnote in history. His firstborn son, Eustace, passed away in 1154, before the Treaty of Wallingford was signed, to end the anarchy and did not enter into consideration, for the line of succession. The death of Eustace shifted to Stephen's younger male son, to William as a potential heir for Stephen. Although William did not challenge his father's decision to nominate Henry as his successor. But political shifts within England could have changed at any time, and rumours persisted of a plot by William to assassinate Henry circulated, but they were never carried out.